How's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And in this video, I want to cover something that is a bit controversial, and that is using nicotine as a bodybuilding supplement. <laughs> and what I mean by that is it is found in, in tobacco, but nicotine by itself is not the harmful uh, substance in cigarettes. And when you take nicotine in its pure isolated form, it actually has several positive benefits, both cognitive benefits, uh, uh, mental and mood elevating benefits, performance enhancing benefits, and this can be used uh, with a, a bodybuilding program. One of my followers actually asked my opinion on nicotine as uh, an appetite suppressant and as a pre-workout. And I was thinking to myself, what the heck? So it, it got to the point where I was curious enough to try it for myself. So I went to the store and I bought some nicotine chewing gum. So I was the conservative type. I got the, the smallest dose, the two milligram pieces. You're only absorbing about 50% of the nicotine, probably about half of what you would get in a single cigarette. And it's hitting you hard because where it's smoking, it's, it's getting absorbed in, into the body and into the bloodstream almost instantly. Whereas if you're chewing a piece of gum, it takes a while to get into your system. It takes about 20 minutes to a half hour to actually get into your system. I mean, I will literally chew maybe one piece of gum four or five days a week. <laughs> That's it. Uh, it's not something I do on a daily basis. And I haven't gotten hooked on it or anything like that. And in fact, studies have shown that uh, nicotine by itself, in terms of like a gum or a lozenge or a patch, nicotine works kind of similar to caffeine in terms of a performance. And you tend to feel a, a rush of energy. You get more of a, a physical energy. You get a mental sharpness and focus. And it just helps to uh, allow you to concentrate on what you're doing. So, I mean, it has those performance enhancing benefits, but it doesn't have some of the drawbacks that I found through caffeine. I mean, A lot of people these days are consuming way too much caffeine through coffee, through soda, through energy drinks, uh, through pre-workout supplements. I mean, and that is just overkill. I mean, you're burning out your adrenal glands, stressing out your system, and, and you actually become numb to the effects of caffeine using it smartly. I've been able to reduce my consumption of caffeine. If you consume caffeine in the evening, that can have a negative impact on your sleep cycle. Uh, nicotine gives you the, the mood elevating and the, the mental focus and the sharpness that caffeine does, but it doesn't give you the same wired feeling. It doesn't give you the same caffeine jitters a cup of coffee, and this is early in the day, then I'll chew a piece of nicotine gum that I've experienced personally from this. And I'm just going to go over some studies now. now. There have been several studies done on the positive effects of nicotine in terms of performance enhancement and motor skill enhancement. Reduced movement times, increased velocity, and more fluent handwriting movements were observed. Show that... Uh, Nicotine can substantially improve performance in non-smokers on a simple motor task. Nicotine's effect on alertness and spatial attention in non-smokers. And this one was done using a nicotine patch. It shows that nicotine significantly improved both EEG and self-rated measures of alertness. The present study has added to recent evidence suggesting that nicotine can produce modest enhancements. Next study right here, done back in 2004, shows the appetite suppressing effects of nicotine. The feelings of hunger and food consumption were negatively associated with increasing doses of nicotine, whereas feelings of fullness were positively associated with increasing doses of nicotine. And it also shows that caffeine appeared to amplify the effects of nicotine on hunger and fullness. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone rush out and start using nicotine. Uh, my goal here is just to make you aware of the positive benefits that nicotine has and to let you know that it is an alternative to other forms of stimulants. And you find that you're consuming too much caffeine then you can use nicotine as an alternative sharpness and focus and that little bit of an energy boost that I need. Plus it helps to curb the appetite, which is a nice little side benefit. But it doesn't give me the jitters. It doesn't hinder with my sleep patterns like uh, too much. Then I recommend that you do your own homework. I mean, don't just take my word for it. Do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Take care. Over and out.